Hello Europe, this is James reporting for Eurovision Island and I'm here at the first ever Eurostars concert and maybe you recognise who's singing? <laughs> Sorry. Hello everybody! It's a terrible joke, you probably okay. heard that a hundred times. <laughs> So I am really happy to be here to sing my Eurovision Song Contest songs once again. Uh, so I still have attention from my fans and uh, I just enjoy tonight and that's all. So I love music, I really love Eurovision Song Contest family and uh, so I'm so happy, relaxed, just waiting for my performance. <laughs> Well, we're really excited to see you here and to get to hear you oh, perform thank again. Thank you, I'm excited too. Yes, actually, very. Uh, as you said, you're waiting for your performance. You haven't actually performed tonight yet. That's yeah. coming up later tonight. Yeah. Do you have any rituals or anything that you do before you perform to help you get ready, help you get into the zone? Yeah, um, most of the time I just take 30 minutes just to focus, to relax and warm up my voice, uh, just to be, to take, catch a good connection and just be true on stage and spontaneous but uh, I'm so emotional person most of the time I need to stay alone 30 minutes no people around just to going through my list my songs and then enjoy and explode it on stage sounds fantastic spontaneous and emotional always good yeah. good performance <laughs> now as I'm sure you're well aware, you are a firm fan favourite at the Eurovision Song Contest. Whenever we talk to people, you know, who's your favourite Eurovision singer, your name comes up 95% of the time. You are a firm fan favourite and everybody loves you. Yeah, I'm so proud of it and I'm so happy anyway. And, um, first of all, I'm so happy um, because the people really understand me. So, you know, so um, not just about uh, which kind of songs are you going to sing or which kind of image you have, you know. So when you have to work on TV shows, sometimes you have managers or have bad advices too. So I am fighting all the time to be much as possible myself. And uh, this is, I think, what's the point, so called people love me, so I just simple as myself. Oh, that's really good, and we'll just point out, our managers never make bad mistakes, Gareth, in case you're watching out there. <laughs> and bearing in mind how loved you are by the Eurovision public, I know you said previously that you wouldn't return to Eurovision just yet, but is there any chance we'll see you at Eurovision again in the future? But yes, of course, there's many fans, so actually my country are going to ask me all the time if I want to come back. But you know, so in my life now I'm thinking about something else, I have a different project, so I would like just um, evolve myself uh, also in different countries. So I'm looking for Africa, actually. Okay. I'm really falling in love in, that, in, in this kind of moment, in particular. And I just, uh, I just enjoy uh, what I'm feeling right now. So I'm, I'm falling in love with this man. I don't want to cover this. Man. And I, I just realizing that for me, probably it's just the time to uh, think about family affairs too. Not just career, you know what I mean. So it's so important for me. I'm looking for a kid too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm That's still lovely. singing anyway, so music will be part of my life for the rest of my life, of course. So I can stop to sing. So wherever and whenever. So if not a some contest, so right now I'm doing my tour with my musicians in Italy. I'm singing jazz. I'm a jazz singer, actually. I love jazz, soul, blues. So I'm involved in many, many things right now. But first of all, feminine affair. That's really nice. It's important to have a balance yeah, with work so. and family. Yeah, so this is my new consciousness. And, and we're very pleased you're not going to give up singing because I think, I think the Eurovision public would be very sad if you stop Maybe you can listen something about me uh, also out of Eurovision song contest if you want, as many fans are asking to me. So uh, I'm doing many things. So Eurovision song contest is a great, great time. Was a great time, a good experience. Yeah, but maybe one day, yes, why not? So never say never, no. So I'm here, I'm still alive. <laughs> as the Queen said, a few months ago in London, no, I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. We're very happy to hear that. And Thank a you. question tied into that that's come up time and again. 
is people said, if San Marino win the Eurovision Song Contest, uh, I know this question. Would you be willing to host it? To host the event and welcome yeah, Europe to San Marino? No, so San Marino is so small. small, so small, and probably we need the help, but will be very, very difficult. I don't know. I believe in that. It's something that I can make it from probably one day as I. I get in the final of 2014, yes. so I was focusing it. You know, when you start to work in something, believe, believe, just believe in it. I want to get in the final, and I went to the final. So if I if I believe to win a Eurovision contest, probably I can. So we can, we can if we want. Everything is can happen anyway. Don't care if you are small. Don't care about nothing. So if you believe, really believe in something, you can make every point in your life. I think fantastic so. attitude to have. That really is. And yeah. Considering, I remember when San Marino qualified for the final Copenhagen. Everyone in the house was watching. We yeah, went wild. We were so excited. I screamed like, you know, <laughs> I, I lose my voice. Okay. We did. I basically my voice. <laughs> I would scream and I'm down on the floor crying because I, I worked harder. I worked very, really, really hard. But uh, it's good. It's good. This is um, we have one life, and uh, all lyrics are uh, from my songs. So I just want to give a positive message all the time. Just support all people in the world, uh, especially people are suffering so much. And uh, actually, we are living in a bad moment too. But uh, if you think it's not too bad uh, and everything is possible, as I said before, uh, we tutto can make positive uh, everything. No? So, tutto cambierà, <laughs> vola, vola con me. <laughs> and we're still flying together. Valentin Manetta, vola, vola to me. I'm so happy. I'm so happy too. Thank you okay. so much. Before we wrap up, uh, just one last question we have for you. If any of the fans watching out there would like to get in touch with you on social media or get in touch anyway.